In question five, you're given a, a sequence and asked to find the sum of the first 60 terms. So in order to do that, um, we don't have a really uh, efficient way of doing that for any way except for geometric or arithmetic. So you can assume that it's either geometric or arithmetic. So if we look at this, um, no pattern leaps to mind. I did that deliberately, so you'd have to kind of look at it. Um, so we can try. Is it true? Uh, can you find a pattern for multiplication? I think I'm going to try addition first. It just looks easier. So I know that I could think of negative 7.1 plus some number d has to equal 1.5. So d would be 1.5 minus a negative 7.1, which turns out to be 8.6. Now if I add 1.5 plus 8.6, do I get 10.1? Yes. And is 10.1 plus 8.6 equal to 18.7? Yes. Okay, so that I found it. I found an arithmetic sequence and d is equal to 8.6. So now I'm looking at my sum formulas and I, I remember that that story that Mrs. Taylor told us about that mathematician that added the numbers from 1 to 100 and you added the first number and the last number and then the number of pairs. So hopefully this formula will remind you of that. a sub 1 is the first term in the sequence. a sub, 1, a sub n is the nth term in the sequence. In this case it would be the 60th term because I'm adding 60 of the, ter the 60 terms, and then 60 divided by 2 would give me 30. That would be the number of pairs. So S sub 60 is 60 divided by 2. A sub 1 is negative 7.1, and then this is A sub 60. Obviously, I don't know the 60th term yet, but I should remember then from previous work that to get to the 60th term, I just have to add D 59 times to the first term. So A sub 60 is just the first term plus, <clears throat> excuse me, 59 times 8.6. That turns out to be, I have to write that down, 500.3. So this number here, 500.3, goes in to the formula here. That's my last term in my sequence now. So this is 30 times negative 7.1 plus 50, or 500.3, and this turns out to be 14,796, and that is the answer to number five. Number six asks you to find the sum of the first 20 terms of this sequence. 20,000, negative 22,000, 24,200, negative 26,620 and so forth. Um, if I, here I would be subtracting 42,000 and then here I would be adding a completely different number. You can't do add, subtract, add, subtract. If you have alternating signs, it's not going to be arithmetic because you're, you can't add the same number every time. You'd have to add a negative number and then a positive number and then a negative number. So this has to be geometric. So how do you find geometric? Well, I remember that to get from this term to this term, I multiply by r, you know, times r, times r. So if 20,000 times r is equal to negative 22,000, then r has to be negative 22,000 divided by 20,000, which reduces to negative 11 over 10 or negative 1.1, whichever you prefer. I don't care. If you check negative 22,000 times negative 1.1, you will get 20, it, it will give you the third term. And if you take the third term times negative 1.1, it will give you the fourth term. So you should always check that. And th those do turn out to be correct. So what formula do we use for the sum of the first 20 terms? We use S sub n is equal to A sub 1 times 1 minus r to the n over 1 minus r. Filling in the numbers here, that would be 20,000 times 1 minus negative 1.1 to the 20th, or negative 11 tenths, either one will work, over 1 minus negative 1.1. Now, I had a whole lot of people make this mistake. A lot of people said, oh, I see two negatives here. They said 1 minus a negative 1.1 to the 20th 
When you add a negative, you just make it positive. Well, that would be true if it was just 1 minus negative 1.1 in the denominator. That is true. But there's an exponent here. And by order of operations, the exponent has to be applied before the subtraction. So you have to figure out what this number is first before you subtract from 1. And if you raise a negative number to the 20th power, it becomes a positive number. So it's actually 1 minus this, whatever this number is. So you can't, you can't simplify it as 1 plus. That is a common mistake. Probably the majority of those who got this far in the test made that mistake. So let's, let me show you how I would do this problem. In my trusty calculator, I would type it in exactly as written with the parentheses. Um, that's not what I meant to do. OK, I want to do make a, um, a fraction. And in the numerator, I'm going to get 20,000. Then in parentheses, 1 minus, in parentheses, negative 1.1. And then make sure where the 20th goes is outside that second parentheses to the 20th, like this. Look at it carefully when you type it in. Make sure it looks exactly like you want it to look. And then 1 minus a negative 1.1. And then push Enter. And that is the correct answer. Um, remember, too, that that is not the whole answer. That is just rounded, the whole answer. So you might want to, when you write this on your paper, you're going to want to write negative 54,547.6 dot, 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 or add some more decimal places. It's not exactly 0.6, okay? It's just that's how many decimal places your calculator is rounding to. It's rounding to six digits here, so it only shows one decimal place. Um, notice your calculator does the order of operations correctly. And I want to take one minute to think about logically, when you look at this problem, in the denominator, 1 minus a negative 1.1 is going to become a positive number. 20,000 is a positive number. But what kind of a number is in this parentheses? negative 1.1 to the 20th becomes a positive number. 1 minus this very large positive number is negative. So this whole number is positive times negative over positive. It should be a negative number. If you did this top part incorrectly, you got the number uh, 700, no, 73,595.2. 73,595.2. If you got that number, that's because you made this plus a, plus a positive. Um, and that doesn't make sense if you look at the original problem. It shouldn't be positive. So use your common sense, estimate, think about what the number should be, and see if your answer makes sense. So I'm just going to add this um, number then to the answer. So you'll have this again to write down negative 54,000. 547.6 dot dot dot. So that is the correct answer. Now looking, uh, actually that's the end of this video.